Hi everyone, Marabo to you, welcome back to some more XCOM enemy in the long war. So, I'm still going to wait a few more days before I launch that satellite, because I'm not quite sure if I'm going to get a Toro mission this month or not. I didn't get one yet. I saw something that looked like a terror ship, but I'm not convinced it was actually a terror ship. So, yeah, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. I might just do that mission next month, or at the end of this month. I need to a few days before the satellite is operational. Alloys for engineers? No, not really. I kind of need my alloys. I need a lot of alloys. So let's wait and see what's going to happen. Oh nice, the hyperwave relay is done. I totally forgot about that thing. Drone Rex? No, not really. Gin mod is done. There's the hyperwave relay. I'm actually going to leave this cutscene in, because why not? Yeah, there's no way I can shoot down an overseer, not without the fire some, obviously. There's no point even trying, the way I see it. I can launch an interceptor, but obviously it's not going to happen without an actual firestorm, yeah, just abort. Right. So, scan for activity, a little bit more. I got some soldiers returning to active duty. And Raider. Okay, scout target. Okay. Let's send in the interceptor then. It'll be nice to get a crash site or something like that. You know, to get alloy, Zellerium, maybe some experience. That would be great. Don't get shot down. Did we get a crash site? No, we didn't. Okay, whatever. Keep scanning. More. Scout target. Okay, let's send this guy then with 9 kills. He shouldn't have any major problems. Shooting the UFO down, hopefully. I'm not going to use dodge busters against raiders. I'll just abort if I take too much damage. Okay, now we got the crash site. Sectoid commander, seeker, sectoid, mectoid. 18. It's nice seeing what exactly is going to happen. So, remove all these people. I'm not sure if I'm going to use bagels for this one. That didn't look too hard. Let's see then. Hulk is probably wounded, yeah, obviously. Oh, also, I need to send Girard and Annette to Sonic training. I was waiting for them to not be fatigued anymore. Are they still fatigued? Right, they are fatigued for 10 more hours. Never mind then. Back to the mission. Clear everything. I guess I'll have to wait a little bit longer before I train Annette and Girard. I can't send them to Sonic training while they are fatigued. So, who's going to be the officer? I might bring Jeff with an arc thrower, because why not? Just to try capturing an alien or two. Okay then. So... Aegis armor? That's 14 hit points, a little bit risky. Yeah, I don't like using Aegis armor on Jeff, but I can give him their storm gun. That's 15 mobility. With the arc thrower, that's pretty good. What's going to be our mech trooper? Ariadne or Tatiana, I suppose. Okay, Ariadne. Next stop. I'm going to need a scout. Maybe Bella? I'd rather use Bella for a harder mission than this. So, yeah, Jeff is an officer, but I would prefer an officer with more officer ranks. So, Arpita, for example. That works. So, we also got a medic at the same time. As for the scout... Oh yeah, this guy still needs experience. He's getting close-ish to Gunnery Sergeant. Would be nice to get that. Sniper. Let's see. I'm not going to use William for this one. Hariri, Don. I still need more experience on Don. 
a lot more experience, 800 more. So he's coming. He was the MVP of the previous mission, <laughs> doing over 20 damage to that ethereal. So next up, Zhang. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, I still need to train him. I kind of forgot about that. I'm not bringing him then. I'll send him to Sonic training after this mission. Rocketeer, perhaps. So, Donny, why not? Okay. I still need a gunner, at least one gunner. Is Kelly still fatigued? She shouldn't be. That's Flynn. I suppose I could bring him to. Where's Kelly? What rank is she now? Tech Sergeant, I think? Oh yeah, there she is. Okay. And one more person, that's going to be Assault. Obviously, because I don't have one here, yet. So, Jessica. Make items available. Most of these people already have proper gear. Okay, then. So, Pulse Lance, Grenade Launcher, Flamethrower, Battle Computer and Alloy Belt. Yeah, I'm going to use Alloy Belt on most of my mechs now. Maybe even on Hulk. Hulk almost got killed during the previous mission, that wasn't so great. Okay, Arpita, EG Sarmor. I do have that Carbine. I could give her the Carbine, her aim is kind of low. Under 70. That's really low. And that's 13 hit points? Yep. I could give her Titan Armor instead. Do I not have spare Titan Armor? No. Okay. Who's using the Titan Armor? Okay, Kelly is using Titan Armor. I don't think she really needs that. No, she doesn't. But Arpita could use it. That's still pretty good mobility with Titan Armor. Yeah, that's very good mobility. Plasma Carbine? Yeah, Plasma Carbine. Okay. Just going to check down real quick, no real changes here. Donny. Right. He'll have to use the pulse rifle. I'm already using the storm gun and the carbine. I can give him inches armor though. That way his mobility won't be totally terrible. Yeah, this is acceptable. 12 mobility. Not amazing, but it will be like 11 or 10 if I give him Titan Armor. I don't even have any more Titan Armor spare. <laughs> so never mind. No changes here. And I think we're ready. Looks like we're ready. Okay. Let's go then. Shouldn't be a very hard mission. We have visual on the missions. But we'll see. You never know with these things. I mean, I know there will be mechtoids and sector commanders, for example, but I don't know how many. Yeah, densely populated area. How is this a densely populated area? Come on, dude, that's not very reasonable. Well, let's get started then. 18 aliens in here. And there's the UFO already. There's also a melt container over there already. Alright. Would be nice to grab that, but it would also be nice to not trigger half of this map on the first turn. I'll just send Jessica, like this, and I didn't trigger anything, that's nice. So, Don, I need to position him somewhere. Here? That seems reasonable. And steady weapon. He doesn't have snapshot anyway, so even if I trigger anything on this turn, he wouldn't be useful on this turn. I won't trigger anything on this turn. That would be silly. I know where I can move safely. So, oh yeah, Kelly. She can dash into full cover. She only has limited squad sight, so yeah. I expect some aliens in this general direction, or maybe on the right side. That's definitely not impossible. I got several battle scanners. So, I might as well throw one. Oh, I saw another melt container on the right side. Nice. And no aliens over there. Awesome. I could grab both melt containers. That's a little bit greedy. 
Yeah, that's a little bit greedy because there might be some aliens just outside of my battle scanner range. And I might get punished for getting greedy like this. But I'll try to get both anyway. Unless some kind of patrol runs into me right now, then I'll back up. Let's see, I can almost get there. I don't think I have to use running gun, there is no way this meld will expire on this turn. No, it really shouldn't. And I don't want to waste running gun when I don't have to, I'll just grab it on the next turn. Okay. Let's move a little bit with Ariadne. And probably Overwatch. Now I can move towards that other container. Yeah, with my scout. Let's see. Well, Jeff's mobility is pretty decent though. So if I move here, I can grab it on the next turn. A little bit strange that I didn't trigger any groups yet. There are 18 aliens in this mission, but I didn't see any yet. That's like three or four groups easily. That worries me a bit because that means I might get like two or three groups right next to each other. And that's always unpleasant. Well, we'll find out. I'll just set up an overwatch or two or three. Okay, overwatch. And hopefully I'll get two melt containers on the next turn. I can always use a lot of meld. Some of the best gene mods are kind of expensive in terms of meld. Secondary heart. Adaptive bomb marrow. I already gave secondary heart to some of my key soldiers. And that costed me quite a lot of meld. Plus 3 meld. And this will be plus 3 meld as well. And I still didn't see any aliens. That's really strange. But alright. Let's go where Jeff is then. Yep, I can go there. I still got more battle scanners. I suppose I could throw one. Just to see what's going on. It's a little bit odd. Okay, let's throw one all the way here. I might see something like that. That will still leave me with one more battle scanner. Okay, still nothing. Interesting. There might be multiple groups of aliens inside the actual UFO because that happens sometimes. And it's pretty annoying when it does happen. Well, at least I know it's safe to dash, so there's that. But I expect some kind of patrol to run into me any moment, really. Donny can go here. And Ariadne goes here. And Kelly, right. She needs to move up. A lot. This looks like a reasonable padding position. Okay, so Overwatch. Done, yep, Overwatch. And a steady weapon for Don. Come on, aliens, I know you're out there. Really? Where the heck are all the aliens? Like, come on now. I'm actually going to open the force field. Because maybe there's a group inside. No, there is... Nothing inside, at least not right here. This makes me a little bit nervous, I have to admit. I really don't want to fight three groups at the same time. That's never a good idea in the long war, under any circumstances. Unless you can kill them all with AoE in one turn. Then it's a great idea. But the most of the time you can't. Okay, I'm not going to waste my last battle scanner because I remember this mission will have Seekers. So I'd like to have at least one available. Just in case I'll have to fight Seekers while fighting other groups. Okay, Ariadne will move up. And I still got Kelly in the back. Well, actually, she can kind of stay here. Or here. And Dawn. Yeah, I need to move up with Dawn. When I know there are Seekers in here. And Jessica is chilling in the back with her socks. <laughs> yeah, interesting nickname, I have to say. 
I'm not only going to call her by her nickname or something. Alright. Well, yeah, I know there are aliens inside the UFO. Tell me something new. I don't really want to trigger the main group. Because then all the groups will move towards me. So I'm trying to avoid that exact scenario. It's not a good idea to fight 18 aliens all at the same time. Unless you're having a death wish. Okay. I do have that last battle scanner, but I'm not going to use it. Mariadne? I'll just dash to make it faster. This is the worst part of any mission, because it's so tempting to rush a little bit more, maybe dash once or twice, but that's a terrible idea if you run into multiple groups of aliens. You are pretty much screwed if you get caught off guard. But it's so easy to let your guard down in a mission like this, and a situation like this. And I've done this in the past. I certainly have. Alright, Donny goes here. Anyone else? Alright, Jessica. I got pretty much everything ready, so that's good. I got explosives. I got flashbang grenades. I got a battle scanner, cam grenade. I'm prepared. So bring it on. I'm waiting for you, aliens. Your move. Okay, Overwatch. Are they coming or what? Yeah. There's no way I'm going to enter the UFO before I find at least one group outside. This is already the zone wall. Roger that. Right, well, I'll send my scout this way. Yeah, still nothing. That's seriously irritating. It's technically possible that all 18 aliens are inside the UFO, but that would be really bad. That would be awful. And sometimes there's a bug, or at least I assume it's a bug, when they spawn on the roof or on top of the UFO. And I say it's a bug because there's no way to actually get there unless, one, you have flying, or two, you have a soldier with a grappling hook, which I do. That's done. But still, it's not supposed to happen. Yet, it sometimes happens. I had it happen, for sure. It can actually make a mission impossible in the early game. Because you just can't get there. And if they spawn in the middle of the UFO, you won't even get line of sight. It's pretty rare. I only had it happen like two times ever. Roger that. But it can happen. Fortunately, I do have a soldier with grappling hook. Moving out. I'll probably always have a soldier with grappling hook from now on because Corsair armor is pretty decent and has a grappling hook at the same time. Right, Overwatch again. Oh yeah, I left Dawn all the way in the back. So what about that grappling hook? I'm a little bit too far away to use it. I, at least I think we can use grappling hook on the roof to get up there. And you don't actually need flying. Both time it happened to me, I didn't actually have a soldier with grappling hook. So I didn't verify that. Come on. Right, I feel like I'll have to check the UFO. Yeah, okay, you can get up there with a the grappling hook. I might as well do that, then I can always jump down. I want to see if there's actually something up here. No. Looks clear. Steady weapon. And keep scouting. Right, there's still nothing back here? Come on now. Where the heck are all the aliens? Like, are you serious right now? This is a little bit annoying. I'll so end up fighting like three groups all at the same time. This is what's going to happen. I'm calling it now. Arpita. I'll still keep moving around properly. Because I don't want to get caught off guard. I might get the patrol any moment. It's possible that there are like two groups of seekers. Because I'm not even hearing any patrols. Which is definitely unusual. It definitely looks like there are multiple groups of seekers. Well, by multiple I mean two groups probably. Okay, Overwatch. 
Come on, aliens, we have a party outside, and you're invited. The only thing I can hear are the sectoids, and that's pretty much it. Okay, I didn't even hear mectoids moving around, and I know there are mectoids in here, because their harp wave uplink told me. Well, that's a lot of sectoids, which is interesting. Do I want to back up, or stay here? I think I prefer to back up, in before I trigger another group. This was technically a slightly risky move. And since Don is already up here, I'll just keep him up here, for now. Just move him around, because this is faster. And I need to move into proper positions. Should be safe to move inside. Ariadne. I could use her as cover. Yeah, I could do that. But that would be for one person only. Not amazingly useful. And I wouldn't be able to use Overwatch, because if she takes a shot, I lost the cover element. Yeah, let's not do that. I don't want to have a situation like in the previous mission, where I have a soldier with no cover whatsoever. It wouldn't be the exact same situation, because that was Clones Command Specialist, but I'm still not going to do it. Jeff? Can he move somewhere useful? Sort of, but not really. Okay, it should be safe to stay here. And Overwatch. Most of these sectoids should move towards me now. Half of them will probably use Mind Merge. Well, here they come. These are just regular sectoids. I don't think I saw a single sector commander. One down already. That was nice shot. This looks like a pretty easy mission so far, but... I have no idea how many mech toys I'll get. If I get three mech toys all at the same time, it might be a little bit harder. Oh great, Psy Panic. Well, that's fantastic. One tiny sectoid panicked my mech trooper. Okay. Can Don actually see anything from up here? No, not really, he can't. Yep, he can't see anything from up here. I guess I'll have to jump down. Or I can try to use the weapon. And maybe I'll have a target. I need to start moving around. A bit. Oh, there we go, I have a target. Yeah, 21%. That's not going to happen. Definitely not. Move in with Donny. This is kind of awkward. I don't like fighting here. Pretty awful positioning. And I can get flanked quite easily. Okay, and Jeff? Come on, Jeff. That's affirmative. Jeff can't do anything useful on this turn. And Jessica can't really do anything useful either. Alright, at least these are just sectoids. Not anything nasty. I don't really mind. And there's no sector commander. Oh, don't tell me the game froze again. No, it didn't. I thought it did for a second. Yeah, one sectoid. What's this? First move? That was mine, Frey. Come on, I need them to move a little bit closer. Great, they will just keep shooting me from back there. Or keep using their annoying sonic abilities. I'll just shoot them with Dawn. Hopefully. There is a tree on the right side, I can use that as cover. Yeah, Don can't actually see anything, but I can't actually see any of these sectors at the moment. I need to get vision with someone, like my scout. There they are. Okay, can I see them with Kelly? Yes, I can. Alright, 51%. So, coin flip, basically. And I can shoot twice. Yes, you didn't miss the target. 61. Can Don see them? Yes, he can. Okay, 100%. So that's a kill. That was with Sally weapon, but that's the key. That's a kill anyway. One more. Hello targeting. I could take a shot. With my scout. Only 33%, but whatever, I'll take a shot anyway. Missed. 
Okay, anyone else? I could use a rocket launcher, but that would be a massive overkill against one sectoid. Let's not do that. Missed again. Okay, any more shots? Come on, Jeff, finish the job. Is there any cover you can use? Not really. This might be too far away. Yeah, this is literally one tile out of range of that stupid sectoid. Great. I'll just run in and maybe use the running gun on the next turn. Because these sectoids are really getting on my nerves. Still, I'd rather fight sectoids than mutinellis. <laughs> the most obvious statement of the year. There were more sectoids in there too. Where are the others? Are they hiding? Missed again. Adjusting sights. Yeah, you adjust them well. Any more shots? No. But we will get shot. No, another annoying sonic ability. That was mine for again. Okay. Oh, that sector actually flanked me. Smart guy. Six damage. Annoying bugger. And Arpita is panicking too. Well, I really don't want to trigger anything nasty from this room. So... Let's play it safe and move like this. I don't want to reveal too much of that room. Now that the force field is open. Okay, rip. Still got that one sector outside. There should be at least one more sectoid for sure. Like, easily. But this one is dead. So, rip. I didn't even need to use my primary weapon for that one. Yeah, I definitely didn't. Okay, overwatch time. And don't shoot. Probably jump down by now. He's not super useful up there because he won't be able to shoot anything inside the UFO. I expect at least one sectoid. Like, I didn't actually count them. But I'm pretty sure there were more. Like, 99% sure that there are some more annoying buggers around here. Okay, overwatch. And Kelly can overwatch too. Well, if he comes to visit me, he's going to have a bad time. Yep, there's at least one more. And no overwatch, he didn't move far enough. Yeah, he's shooting Arpita again. Kind of annoying because Arpita was panicking. Is she still panicking? No. Well, I need to heal her now, clearly. I don't think she has secondary heart. No, she doesn't. She's not even a master sergeant. So, yeah. One more time. That was a little bit close. There we go. But I didn't expect these sectoids to flank me through the UFO. That was slightly unexpected. Now, I could get a kill by throwing a grenade. Maybe. This will be a granted kill. It would also destroy some of the wall. Which might be a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, he didn't actually kill him. Okay, but this is going to be an easy kill regardless. Or done perhaps with the laser pistol. 98%. Rip. Okay. Now I can reload everything and maybe regroup a little bit. So reload, reload. This should be a mass reload <laughs> shortcut or something like that. For situations like this. Reload. How many sectoids did I actually kill? Quite a few. I'm not even 100% sure if this entire group is dead now. Like, I, I'm not sure if it is. Alright, well. Let's go in. And see what's up. Hello? Anyone home? You got visitors. I'm on my way. How rude. Can we take stuff? If there's no one home? Yeah, let's take stuff and go home. Their powered sources, flight computers. And go back to the Sky Ranger. Reload. Well. What's making that noise? They have to be like at the edge of the UFO. They can't be outside. There they are. Oh, okay, that's a lot of seekers. But I got a battle scanner. So they are going to have a bad time. And I have a rocketeer. Yeah, that's a crap ton of seekers. I don't really mind. 
Where's the mectoid then? There was supposed to be a mectoid in here. I'm not going crazy. The hyperwave beacon or relay told me there's a mectoid in here. And it's one. Right, 97%. Rip. Do I even want to use that battle scanner? I probably don't need it. Let's see, I could use a rocket launcher. Shredder rocket. A shredder rocket is not actually a terrible idea. Hmm. Battle scanner? I don't think I'll need that battle scanner for anything else. So, yeah, okay, I'll throw it then. Right here. Okay, I should see all of these stickers. If I throw it like this. There they are. Okay, a big one in the front. Two seekers in the back. Not much point using a rocket launcher. I would waste the rocket right now, basically. So let's not do that. Kelly. She should have some targets. Yeah, the big one. Should be nice with hit ammo. Nice. 15 damage. Now I can target some other one. Because if I miss, I'll get holo targeting up at least. That's a kill. Okay, yeah, I definitely won't need any rocket launchers or anything like that. Looks like potentially easy kill for Arpita. She will be wanted after this mission, so I'll get some kills for her at least. That was very unfortunate though, because the timing on that panic was really bad. And at the same time, I got flanked from a fairly unexpected direction. Now I'm still using the pistol, damn it. Yeah, that's a miss, obviously. Can I swap the weapon right now? No. It used to be possible, but... Nope. Jessica can still take a shot. So, oh yeah, there's one more Seeker here. So, rip. And one more Seeker. Ariadne can probably take care of that. There's still supposed to be a Mechtoid in here. Unless the Hyperwave Relay lies. Well, we are not done yet. So, where's that mechtoid? Reload. All the things. Now I can swap weapon on Don. So I don't use the laser pistol again. Reload, reload. Reload. Yeah, reload everything. I'm not in a huge rush. Don can move a bit, however. Let's see. Right, I can't move these people anymore. I'm going to reload anyway, so I just want to move a bit. Reload. And move a little bit. Oh, there we go. Mechtoid. Two sector commanders. And a bunch of regular sectoids. Okay. So, do I just back up? Yep, good plan. I'm out of here. They will move towards me, hopefully. And then they might be close enough for me to throw a chem grenade. I like that plan. Yeah, they will have to move towards me. They don't really have a choice. So that should be nice for me. They might shoot Ariadne. Oh yeah, they might also shoot this guy, but he has cover. From this direction. I don't think they have any other targets. Here comes the sector commander. No, that's just a regular sectoid. Yeah, here comes the mechtoid. Now this is a good target for a rocket launcher. That's a very good target for a rocket launcher. And I'm in position to actually use the rocket launcher without having to move. Okay. This is the kind of scatter I like. Well, 2.0, that's still quite a lot. But it would have been worse if I moved. Don't miss too much. Okay, pretty decent damage. Acceptable. I can't kill the sector commander, I'll just have to burn that shield. Which shouldn't be too hard. Can Kelly see that mechtoid? No. She can't. Okay. I could use disabling shot. However, Don will be flanked if I do that. I do have the grenade, and Jeff has hit warheads. However, I can't move him into cover. Yeah, I 
Can walk him into cover. I would have to throw it from here. Which I can do. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I will do some decent damage like this. Might even remove the shield from the mechtoid. Yes, I will remove the shield. Nice. I can actually see the sector commander now. I could kill that sector commander if I want to. But there are more sector commanders in the back. That's not very safe. I'd rather kill the mechtoid. So... I just want to use an gun it. I'll see how much damage I can do to that mechtoid. 97% and 50% chance to crit. Don't disappoint me. Nice, perfect. Okay, that was without killer instinct. And also without bring him on. Well, yeah, it was with bring him on, but without killer instinct. Because that only applies after run and gun. So I do have a flamethrower. That's probably the best way to deal with this. I don't think I can reach the sector commanders, though. So that's a bit of a problem. I could also launch a grenade. Which would potentially kill some of these dudes. I think I like that idea more. Yeah. Decent damage. I still got Kelly, but she can't do a whole lot. She can't really do anything right now. How far can I go? Hmm. Here. Arpita can still move. I need more cover around here. I want Kelly somewhere here, so... I just wanted to move Arpita out of the way. Then Kelly can move in here. And hunker down. I still got this guy. I can either kill a sectoid, I can throw a flashbang grenade, I can throw a cam grenade. Cam grenade won't really do a whole lot. Well, it kind of will. It will force this sectoid to not move, but that sectoid is already behind cover. Okay. I might just take a shot. 82, 26. Hmm. Flashbang. Maybe. Flashbang is guaranteed. Alright, I'll use flashbang then. At least they won't shoot me. Not that they do a ton of damage, but their pistols in 2016 can actually do quite a bit. Alright, I still got done. And that's my only target. Okay. I'm gonna reposition him a little bit. To be able to shoot the commanders. But I can't use steady weapon if I do that. Right, whatever. I'll just kill this sector in the front. The other one is still disoriented. No, I kind of regret not using chem grenade instead. I thought Don will be able to shoot this sector right here. With 10 hit points. But he doesn't have line of sight, it seems. This shouldn't be too hard to finish now. I still didn't use run and gun. Okay. Only free damage, that's fine. The sector commanders are not trying to mind control me? No. Psy panic. I can deal with that. I do have Psy inspiration, oh great. Donny also panicked. I do have Psy inspiration, do I? Oh, Kelly has a target now, right. 51%, I also have double tap. Missed. I destroyed the wall though, so 100%. Rip. Okay, one down. Do I have Psy Inspiration? No, I actually don't. Okay. I thought I did. I'll deal with it anyway. So, run and gun. There is one more alien here, but I should probably kill that. Who can kill that? Arpita? 81%? Pretty easy kill for Arpita. And she'll be wounded after this mission, so she can use the experience. Let's move towards the commanders. Now I could... Oh, I'm flanking one of them already. Okay, nice. If I get lucky, I might even be able to kill him. Well, he is all the way in the back, but I have 85% chance to crit. Nice, 13 crit. 
I don't have anyone who could finish the job. So this is not going to happen, actually. If my scout wasn't panicking, then yeah, maybe I could. I do have run and gun, so I could kill this guy. This would be a guaranteed kill. It should be. Okay, let's do it. One sector commander, you can't really do a whole lot to me. What is he going to do? Mind control Jessica? And then I'll kill him on the next turn? Yeah, that's pretty much all he can really do. He can shoot her, but he can't do enough damage to kill her or anything like that. So, there's not much cover around here. I want to potentially have line of sight to that sector commander with Don. There we go. He will move into cover or he will just run away completely. I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. Don't panic. We'll finish the job. Heading to that location. Yes, head to that location. I'm still out of range. Well, no run and gun right now, but I got my blaster. This will be pretty low chance to hit. But hey, you never know. Yeah, 9%. In before I hit. Come on. No. <laughs> Would be funny if I did. But oh, Don can actually finish the job. Okay. Rip. And we're done? We should be. Yep, we're done. 18 aliens. I already knew that part. Hopefully I'll get some nice alerium and alloys. Would be nice to start at least one firestorm, like right now. And Kelly got promoted. Awesome. That's going to be... what? Oh yeah, resilience, probably. I do like having resilience on as many soldiers as possible. Also, resilience will give me plus 4 aim and plus 4 will. I like that part too. I really like the plus 4 will. On top of being immune to crits. So, yeah, let's take resilience. That's 93 aim on a gunner. Pretty good. How much alerium did I get? 11. I was hoping for more than that. Can I actually afford one Firestorm? Yes, I can. Okay, well, just one. And I'll be left with literally one Alerium. But that's always something. And I can send some soldiers to Sonic Training, or can I? I need to send Zhang. But Annette is still wounded, uh, I mean, fatigued. Where's Annette? Yes, yeah, Zhang is available there. I keep forgetting what rank Annette is. Is she wounded? Oh. She's in the genetics lab, right. I forgot about that part. Okay, what about Girard? I don't think he's fatigued anymore. He is for 7 hours. I'll send Zhang then. And pick up Saipanik. Saipanik is just awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.